to continue with the um, the last okay. tutorial i will we'll be doing the dimension now we're going on the dimension so the dimension let me go back to my autocad our last or previous work now these are the previous work now i want to do the dimension on this the dimension requires some settings and you have to follow these rules you have to follow the settings i told you in the first tutorial that in every set in every settings on autocad you have to go to your format bar now i'm on my format then i'll go to dimension style dimension style then click on modify the f let me go to the first tab the first tab is line then let me use the color of the dimension line red and the same thing this one to also red okay, then let me go to that first and the line type is constant baseline spacing 50 then the color of the extension line whatever every modification will reflect here so let's go on now extend beyond dims line 150 let me use 150 then offset from origin 200 then let's go back let's use 50 for this let's use 50 then let's go to the symbols and narrow first the architectural tick the second will be in on architectural tick also then let's go to um, leader architectural tick also then the arrow size 50 from there I'll go to the test for my test from here. I will select the type the type of test my front type of front I, I, I love to use depending on your own test actually. It's it's nice to use a very bold test, the one that is very visible and easy to read. Now let me use just let me use type BT plus. If you don't have type BT plus, you can use Times New Roman. This is Times New Roman times Times New Roman. You can use Times New Roman, but let me use Style BT Plus. That's what I use mostly. But if you don't have Style BT Plus, Style BT, use Times New Roman. Now the test height at 200. Then apply and close. And close. Now let me now go align with align with dimension line. Align with dimension line. Then from there, let me go to fit my fit. Actually, there's nothing to do here. You can go to your primary unit. The way we set our unit, you have to set it this the same way. Go to precision here, zero for the length, then this one for 0.00. .00. If you wish to add the unit in which you're working on, you can just come to the surface here and press mm. I'm working in the millimeter. If, if you're working in feet, you can just come here and press ft. It will show at the end of your dimension line. Now I'm working with millimeter and the same thing applies to this. This one will come before this. This will come before the test. Can you see? To come before this, let me write something now. Center C. This one will come before the test. Can you see the C is showing in every of my dimension line? Now let me go back. Let me remove this. I only need the surface delete. Then from there, that's all actually. Then I can press on. I can use my OK. I can use my OK. This is my OK then close and close now let's go my first dimension too i told you in the last area that we have three we have two three basic tabs we are used we're working on but we've only touched two in the last tutorial but now we'll be touching the third tab now let me switch it on the, the third tab which is dimension bar this is the draw bar this is the modifier bar and let me switch on my dimension bar. I'll come here and right click, click on AutoCAD or ACAD from 2007. And I'll click on dimension, I'll take the dimension line and it will come. To make a linear or a straight dimension line, just click on linear here, then touch. I want to make an interior direct dimension. I will touch the interior part, then click on the interior side, then I'll click 3000, my measurement. Repeat the same step, also I'll click. 3006. Now to make the exterior dimension, I, I can just do the same click and touch, touch the edge and drag. Then I can repeat the process to continue the process without going back and start pressing. The reason why I did not use this is because the line is not. I did not use this when I was doing the interiors because the lines. If I still have another space I need to measure here, I can just click on continue. This is why I did not click on continue because the line, the dimension I'm making is not horizontal. 
it's vertical then that was the reason i didn't now let for instance let me just click on continue it will, con it will continue whatever there's its dimension continue to continue wherever i stop from click and click then i can use the escape to stop to stop it escape now this one is touching on it i can just click on it and bring it forward so that it won't, it won't touch down let me just repeat this thing just drag it i only dragged it the reason why i did not use for instance now let me do the interior again so that you can understand click on the interior again interior then my three thousand if i should click on continue it will continue this way not that not in the vertical way escape but i don't need this so hope you're getting that now let me do the horizontal i'm sure the vertical the horizontal i'll select on this then continue 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 then the same thing apply to this continue continue then let me go back to this continue no i don't need to use continue can you see what has just happened now now let me go to my linear and my linear continue 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 i can just bring this down also so it won't so that it will be very neat i can just bring it down if it's not if it's revision to come down just click on it right click after right clicking just go to dimension just click on it locate the edge of the line and bring it to this side now my dimension now let me do the overall dimension my overall dimension will be coming from this down to this then i'll repeat the same process again from here to here then i can now repeat the same process from here to here i can repeat the process from here to here This is the this is my dimension. Don't mind all this. These are these are for reference purpose for the next tutorial. I said we have to keep our doors and windows intact. Now this is what we are meant to do for for this tutorial. The next tutorial we will start the plan of the self contain <coughs> and I will teach how to I will teach how to make a test on a plan. Thanks for watching once again. My name is David. You can get in touch with me on WhatsApp for this number and Facebook.com, Facebook.com slash Twitter and Instagram on Deviant Studios. Thanks for watching.